there, darlings. Welcome to another episode of Curries and Stories. But today, there is no curry on the menu. It's one of my favorite desserts. It's the New York style baked lemon cheesecake. Perfect to have after spicy hot curry. So I've got 250 grams of plain digestive biscuits, which I'm going to blitz. If you don't have a blitzer, please, by all means, bash them with a rolling pin in a plastic bag. There we go. It's like sand. Soft, smooth and fine. Get it all out. Now here I have 150 grams of melted butter and mix it all together. Just keep stirring. It should eventually look like the consistency of wet sand. There you go. Right. Now we're ready to line our tin. Right, here I have lined my tin with some foil, which has been greased with butter. The reason I'm using foil is because I didn't have any baking sheets and I couldn't be bothered to go and buy any. But this works just as well, trust me. Right, that's ready. Get this lovely wet sand-like mixture. Put it in the bottom of the tin. You don't have to be perfect right about now. Spread it thinly. Don't have it too thin. Push it to the sides. It may look a bit greasy now, but don't worry. My base is done. This is going to be chilled in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes while we move on with the filling. Just go to the fridge. So while my base is chilling in the fridge, I'm going to crack on with the filling. Here I've got 500 grams of cream cheese here I've got 170 grams of caster sugar, two teaspoons of lemon rind, and this is the juice of a whole lemon. Now just give that a little mix, cream it all together. It may look like nothing much, but it will taste delicious. Crank it up. So while those have combined, what I'm going to do now is add my eggs. Now I've got three eggs here which I've whisked lightly, but do not pour the egg in all at once. As you whisk, a little at a time. My mixture is done. Now the reason I added the eggs a little bit at a time is it prevents the mixture from splitting or curdling. So just remember that. Right, my base has set. It looks like a big biscuit, almost the size of my face. Anyway, that's done. So all we need to do, pour this delicious lemony mixture all over. Oh, that is going to be absolutely scrumptious, darlings. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to put this in the oven for about 50 to 60 minutes. Gas mark 160 to 180, depending on how hot your oven goes. Check the temperature, put it to 160, an hour. Here's my cheesecake. Now, from the oven, I'd allowed it to cool down a little bit before I put it in the fridge to chill. It's been chilling for a couple of hours at least, and now I've brought it out of the fridge and left it to come back down to room temperature. So now it's time for the grand unveiling. Now I need to get a bowl to stand it on. Oh, oh it's moving. Oh, yes. Now, just to finish it off, I'm going to give it a light dusting of icing sugar, just to make it pretty. I sometimes do do pretty things. Make it all pretty. There we go. So there you go, darlings, my delicious New York-style lemon-baked cheesecake with an extra thick 
biscuit base just how I like it. I hope you guys really enjoy making this at home. Do let me know how yours turns out. But for now, I'm going to cut myself a big fat slice and stuff it in my mouth. See you later.